Hi friends, welcome to day 18 of Reconnect, your 30-day yoga challenge. Every morning we wake to an incredible opportunity, an opportunity to love and to be loved, an opportunity to share kindness and compassion, an opportunity to create something beautiful just because you can, and an opportunity to be alive one more day in this body and dance. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, then please click the subscribe button. And please also consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon gives me support to make these videos, and it gets you special access to classes and content I only create for my patrons. It's a great community. Uh, If you're already a member, thank you. And if not, then I invite you to check it out. So where do you think we're going to start in today's class dance? on our feet. (laughs) All right, come to your feet. And we're gonna come into something called horse stance. So horse stance, the feet are quite a bit wider than the hips. The hips open here, so the knees turn out, but the feet turn in slightly, okay? And then we get down nice and deep. You wanna feel the strength, solid energy coming up from the earth into your thighs. The back is straight here, so the butt's not, you're not hunching forward, butt sticking out. Pull the heart, crown of the head, lift. So nice straight line from the tailbone up through the crown of the head. Yeah, there you go, feel that. Okay, palms come to the heart. As we inhale, rise up straight in the legs, reach into the sky. Exhale, bend, get deep into your horse stance. Straight back. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, come down nice and deep. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, feel it in the thighs. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come down. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, root into the earth. One more time, we rise. Exhale, this time we come down into horse stance, nice and deep and settle. Nice straight back here. Breathe, big, full, deep breaths. Send the breath into the thighs and the butt. Relax your upper body. As you inhale, slowly rise up. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna take that horse stance and do a little breathing exercise inspired by Mr. Wim Hof. If you're not familiar with Wim Hof, I'll put a link to him in the video description below. He's a very wise and fun human being. (laughs) Okay, all right, so for this breathing exercise, we get back in our horse stance, nice straight back here. Hips open, toes turn in, or the feet turn in just a little bit. And then we're gonna go back and forth, reaching out and grabbing all the good stuff that you wanna bring into your life. Breath and energy and good vibes and love. Just imagine pulling it into your life, into your experience. We inhale as we go one way, exhale as we go the other way. It doesn't matter which side you inhale on. Here we go, get nice and deep. Mmm, feel that. Reaching out and grabbing beautiful, welcoming things into our life. Things that we want to nurture, nourish, grow. Feel your breath, feel the strength in your body flowing through you from the earth, through your butt and your thighs, through your heart, 
through the hands. Feel the energy of what you're pulling into you, into your heart. A couple more breaths, you're doing great. Inhale, stand tall, reach into the sky, wiggle your fingers, and then just shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Nice job. Okay, one more little fun thing. We're going to take the horse stance and turn it into a horse dance. <laughs> this is based on a dance move called Juice or Juicin', but folks, it's a horrible rendition. So if you're a dancer, I apologize. I'm a really bad dancer, but I love it and it's fun and you don't have to be good at dancing. You can just enjoy it and celebrate uh, what dancing is all about. Celebration. Okay, so we get in our horse stance, right? And, and this is a little baby horse stance, so maybe the feet come in a little bit more, knees, just a little bit of a bend, okay? And then we're gonna start, hands roughly on the thighs, we're gonna start rocking back and forth like this to the beat. Find a little rhythm, a beat. So as you rock back, your chest kind of opens and the hips come forward, the upper body comes back. All right, so you feel that. And now all we're gonna do is take this little rocking from side to side. So when I rock to the left, I lift up that right heel and I roll the right shoulder, little bounce. And when I rock to the right, that heel comes down, I lift the left heel and I roll the left shoulder, a little bounce. So it looks like this. Okay, you feel me? If you can't figure this out, it's okay. Do whatever feels good in your body, okay? All right, come down with me. Just get a little bounce, a little roll. You don't have to go real deep. Be smooth. Feel a flow moving through your bones, in your breath. Dance, celebrate this moment. Welcome a little joy into your day. Okay, now we're gonna take this into double time. Here we go. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, feel that, close your eyes. Feel a sense of flow, fluid, like water. Back to single time. Work that little bounce into it if you can. Finding a rhythm with your body, your breath. And then start to move your hands in some fun kind of way, right? You can pretend like you're flipping pancakes, <laughs> flipping omelets. <laughs> Breathe. Make it up as you go along. No rules. You ain't got no stinking rules here. We're having fun. Feeling the joy of moving in our bodies. Here we go, double time. Bom, 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 bom. Dun, dun, dun. Feel that. Breathe into it. All right, back to single. And then take this wherever you want to take it, folks. Turn it into your own little dance on the mat. You can move around, spin around, jump around, wherever you want to take it. Just feel confident in moving and enjoying the sensation of moving without any worry about what it looks like or who's watching or who's comparing. None of that matters. Mm. All right, coming back to stillness. Break it down, break it down, slow it down. <laughs> Bring the feet together and start to shake out the arms, the legs. Beautiful work. Great big breath, reach up to the sky. Palms meet, draw hands, palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Come to a natural breath in and out through your nose. Relax. Let's begin our practice with some words of affirmation. Set the intention for our class, for our day. Welcome new possibilities into our life. I'll say these words out loud 
You say them silently to yourself. Here we go. My body is a gift. This breath is a gift. This day is a gift. When I dance, I celebrate and honor these gifts. I will always remember to dance. Take a few moments, eyes closed, welcome these words into your heart. Blink your eyes open. All right, let's take a big, wide stance here. All ten toes facing forward. Reach into the sky. Star pose. Wiggle your fingers. And as you exhale, open to warrior two facing the front of your mat. So front toes turn to face forward. Deep bend in that front knee. The back foot spins forward just a little bit and roll to the outside edge of that back foot, lifting the inner arch. Front knee Pointing straight ahead, relax the shoulders and breathe. Are your thighs warmed up? <laughs> Do you feel a little energetic happening there? It's good. Breathe into it. Flip your front hand. Reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Left hand comes alongside of that back thigh. Really reach up and back through the heart. As you exhale, windmill the hands down. Frame the front foot. Spin to the ball of the back foot. Low lunge. And peel your right hand up to the sky. Revolved lunge. Moving slowly in a fluid, flowy kind of way. Gaze up to those lifted fingers. As you exhale, bring the right hand down, back to a low lunge. Spin the back heel down and align the front heel with the back arch. Windmill the hands open or back to warrior two. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, turn all ten toes to face forward. Wiggle the fingers, star pose, and exhale, open into warrior two facing the back of your mat. You can adjust that front foot to align front heel and back arch. Make it comfortable and strong. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Flip the front palm. Reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Windmill the hands down. Frame the front foot. Spin to the ball of the back foot. Low lunge facing the back of the mat. And step your front foot back and up to the sky. Three leg dog. Bend the knee and stack the hips open. Letting Gravity, pull that left foot down toward the earth. Feel the opening happening in the left hip. You can stay here in this juicy hip opener or you can take a slow motion wild thing with me. So slowly step that left foot to the floor behind you. Keeping the right leg straight, roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Push into the right hand, lift your hips, lift your heart, and reach that left hand up and over, gaze to the left fingertips. Really push into the right hand to lift up through the heart, arch the back, breathe. As you inhale, roll back to plank pose. Hold plank for just a moment, wrap the elbows in, firm up the belly, and then lift your tailbone back to downward dog, facing the back of the mat. Slowly walk your hands back to the feet. And now you're in a fold at the front of your mat, facing backwards, okay? Step that right foot to the center of the mat, and we're going to cross the legs here, stepping the left foot or the left leg behind the right, and then move that left foot forward so the pinky toe edges of the feet touch. The right calf muscle is pressing against the front of the left shin. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This is a really beautiful stretch in the left hamstring, left IT band. Breathe into that. As you inhale, keep the feet crossed just where they are and slowly rise all the way up to standing. Reach your hands to the sky, again, keeping the feet crossed. Lift the heels and press into the balls of your feet. And now we're going to pirouette around to the left without lifting the feet, 180 degrees, 
turning to face the front of the mat, okay? Here we go, press into the balls of the feet and pirouette, try to spin around all the way to face the front of the mat. If you need to step tiptoe, that's okay. Facing the front of the mat, lift the heels, really push into the balls of the feet, squeeze those calf muscles, breathe, and exhale, lower the heels, nice. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. Step the right foot way back, coming to a nice wide stance facing the right side of the mat, all 10 toes facing forward. Reach into the sky, star pose, and as you exhale, open to warrior two facing the front of the mat. Again, adjust the feet here. Front heel to back arch is a good starting place, but then you make your little adjustments for your body, what works in your body. Deep bend in the front knee, relax the shoulders and breathe. Again, that back leg is really strong, pushing into the back heel, roll to the outside edge of the back foot. Flip the front palm and take it up and back, reverse the warrior, but keep the deep bend in the front knee as you come back. Exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the front foot, spin to the ball of the back foot, low lunge, and then peel that left hand up to the sky, revolved lunge, gaze to the lifted fingers, just marinate in this beautiful twist for a moment. Exhale, left hand comes back down, low lunge, spin the back heel down and windmill the hands open back to warrior two. Now we're feeling a little something in the thighs, aren't we? <laughs> it's good. Breathe into that strength. From here, straighten the front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat, hands to the sky, star pose. And let's open it up to warrior two facing the back of the mat. Deep bend in the front knee. Again, the shoulders, the whole upper body is soft and easy here. The legs are focused and yet also in a place of relative ease, right? Balance. Flip the front hand, reach up and back. As you exhale, windmill the hands down, frame that front foot, spin to the ball of the back foot, low lunge, and step your front foot back and up to the sky, three leg dog. Bend the knee, stack the hips wide open. And again, feel gravity as if it's pulling that right foot down, opening the right hip. You may stay here or follow me, slow motion, wild thing. Slowly step the right foot down to the mat behind you. Spin to the outside edge of the left leg or the left foot. That leg stays straight. Push into the left hand. Reach the right hand up and over. Gaze to the right fingertips and then really push into the left hand to open up the heart. Breathe. And exhale. Roll to plank pose. Firm up the belly, hold plank for a moment. Nice, strong core. And then lift the tailbone, push back to downward dog. Slowly walk your hands back to your feet, back of the mat. And then bring your left foot to the center of the mat and cross the legs once again, this time the opposite way, stepping the right foot behind the left leg. And move that foot forward so that the pinky toe edges of the feet touch. So this time, the left calf muscle is pressing against the right shin. Halfway lift, exhale, fold, breathe, feel. As you inhale, keep the feet crossed just where they are and slowly rise up. Take your hands to the sky. Lift the heels. You got another opportunity here to pirouette. This time we're going to take it around to the right. Here we go. Push into the balls of the feet and we can spin, spin, spin all the way to face forward. Keep the heels lifted. Push into the balls of the feet. Really feel those calf muscles working for three, two, one. Let the heels drop and shake it out. Nice work. That was fun. Big breath, reach up to the sky, palms meet, slice right down through the center and take a bow. Halfway lift, step back, plank pose. As slow as you can, keeping your belly nice and firm, elbows close to your sides, lower all the way to your belly. For cobra pose, untuck the toes, 
Heels of the hands come back to the low ribs. Lift the heart. Push your heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Sink hips back to heels, child's pose. Take your knees wide. Big toe mounds come to touch. And as you exhale, let your forehead come down softly to the mat. We'll take a few sweet moments here to celebrate, honor being alive in this body, being given this gift, this day, this breath, all of the beauty that surrounds us, trees, the sky, the birds. May we spend more time present. May we spend more time dancing. And sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front of you. Take a big wide leg seat. Root the sit bones, knees and toes facing skyward. Let's open up those hips and hamstrings a little bit more. Hands to the sky. And exhale, slowly fold forward, keeping a long spine. Each inhale, lift and lengthen. Each exhale, deepen a little bit, but imagine hinging forward in the fold from the hips so the spine stays long. Avoid rounding through the, the back too much. And just come down to a place that feels like balance to you. A little bit of sensation and a little bit of ease. Breathe into that place. Once you find that place of rest, you can allow the upper back to round a little bit there. Inhale slowly, rise. Come all the way to your back. And once you are there, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice sweet hug. Little rock side to side. Take your feet up in the air. Happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet. Breathe. Feel. Little rock side to side. May the intention of this practice to welcome more play, more adventure, more curiosity, more fun, more dance into your day, into your life. May it guide you. Big breath. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Release your feet and find Shavasana. Bring some movement to your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead in a great big stretch, fingertips to toes. Exhale, knees into your chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat and bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. 
Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Well, thank you for that dance. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Grab your journals. And your journal exercise today is actually to watch a little video. I'm going to put a link to this video in the video description. It's by Alan Watts, and it's, well, it's the words of Alan Watts over a little animation. And uh, it's Alan Watts' Life and Music is what it's called. It's just like a three-minute video. And all I want you to do is watch this video and then journal about your feelings that come up. You gotta watch it all the way to the end, right? Now, I'm not saying Alan Watts has all the answers or even knows anything, right? But I think he is making some, some good points here, especially the point he makes at the very end of the video. So no matter what you think about the rest of the video, watch it to the end. It kind of links it to the point of, of this class. And, uh, and then write about your feelings. I get emotional when I watch it to the end uh, and I think about my life in context to what he's saying. So whatever emotions come up for you, write about them and see where it takes you. Love you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 19.